whilst it is not necessarily a sin to wear a Christian t-shirt, what you're about to witness might just be a crime against humanity, putting one of these bad boys on your back. Warning, you might want to loosen up your face muscles because these t-shirts are downright cringeworthy. Number 10. I don't even like to say it. Air Jesus. Mm, the ultimate high. We know Jesus offers a peace that surpasses all understanding, but that's a little different than the effects of smoking a bong. And why in the world is Jesus dunking the planet like a basketball? Number nine, not only cringeworthy, but blatantly blasphemous. Blood wiser. Hey, how's about we make a Christian t-shirt law? If your shirt minimizes or makes a pun of the suffering and death of our Savior, we deem that a worse idea than, I don't know, say, Saddleback Church ordaining women. And that's saying something. Number eight, Jesus got her done. That's how you got to say it, because it's taken from the LCGV translation. That, of course, is the Larry the Cable Guy version. Number seven, oh, so current, oh, so contemporary, oh, so wrong. Fully vaccinated by the blood of Jesus. Where do we begin? Let's start with the difference between Catholic and Protestant. Catholics believe baptism is their injection of righteousness that must be maintained with no guarantee you're going to heaven, which is actually just like the jab. We Protestants, however, believe our righteousness is outside of us, imputed, credited to us, safe and secure in the person of Jesus Christ. We don't need a Jesus jab. Number six, the winner of the lame pun award, a bread of crumb and fish lady, communicating two messages. We Christians, we can be just like the world, only a lot dorkier, and apparently we're not all that clever. Number five, this is the favorite shirt of China Phillips and Steve Harvey. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit, no. Oh, activate. No. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. Not sure which is more embarrassing, Family Feud or that T-shirt. I know you're right, okay? Number four, this is on our list because it's insufferably long and maybe even dangerous. Here it is. It's better to sit in a tree thinking about God than to sit in church thinking about hunting. I'm exhausted trying to figure that out. How's about this? When you're hunting, you actually think about hunting. You know, people can die. And think about God when you're worshiping him. Number three, the bronze medal for lousy t-shirts goes to a scripture twister. God is within her. She will not fail. First of all, I'm not even sure who she and her is, not that pronouns matter much these days, but it seems this shirt is trying to make God a goyal when in fact the preceding verse tells us that she and her are not God, the city of God where the Lord dwells. In other words, those pronouns are about a thing not a person. The importance of context. Number two. Well, it wouldn't be a lousy t-shirt countdown if we didn't have a gleaming Jesus. Jesus is coming. Look busy. <laughs> hey, are we supposed to be busy? Yeah, but we're actually busy spreading his gospel, growing his kingdom, not merely looking busy. Uh, don't you think Jesus might be able to discern the difference? And uh, finally, the number one dopey Christian t-shirt. Ooh, this was not an easy selection to make because there are so many options. Fall for Jesus. He'll never leave you. <laughs> Yo, it's an autumn pun. Or does this t-shirt communicate Jesus is our boyfriend. Either way, can't we do better? Nothing wrong. You want to show off your love 
for your Savior. Rock on. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus is a friend of mine. Be courageous and bold. But while we are expressing that, let's try not to make the world cringe and frankly embarrass the rest of us. You've been making us all look bad. Any goofy Christian t-shirts we missed, drop them in the comments below. Very good news. The Tomorrow Clubs of Ukraine are operating, preaching the gospel, and providing humanitarian support to Ukrainian families in far-flung places. Kids are getting saved. The local church is being strengthened. Would you please consider becoming a ministry partner? You can do that at tomorrowclubs.org slash wretched. If you love to buy one and get one free, and frankly, who of us doesn't? You'll love our year-end match giving campaign. Every dollar you give is matched by a very generous gospel partner. Would you please consider becoming a gospel partner right now?